defensively, what kind of challenges does Stanford offer? Um, they're a physical defense, and uh, they're, I think they're pretty well coached. And, um, you know, obviously they're smart guys, so they're, they're not going to make any mistakes and, and, you know, let any guys come free. So they're a disciplined team, and we have to execute. Uh, how we've been executing. What can you guys do, or what do you need to do offensively to get back to more of a complete, playing a complete game? Um, that's a that's a great question. I mean, um, you know, you can say that the weather had some some factor in last week's game, and we just weren't clicking uh, in Miami. But you know, before that, you know, things were things were rolling, and we were playing complete offense. You know. And uh, we're going to do whatever we can this week to get back to, you know, how we were playing early in the season. Is there something or what is it that, that maybe you see or you can sense from your group or defensively where it, it's going to click? Like we, there's chances that, w that we have to make plays out here today that, that maybe you haven't had since the Wake Forest game. Uh, yeah, I think the guys are, like I said, they're, they're ready and excited to come back this week to get back to work. And I think. Um, with that being said, you know, no, no school, everything's focused on football right now. So um, I think things, things will start clicking um, in this game, and uh, I think the guys will be ready to make plays. What would it mean to get to 10 wins this season? It'd mean everything, and that's the, you know, that's the only thing that's on our mind right now is to get number 10 and then, you know, look forward from there. But um, right now, number 10 is, is what's on our mind, and um, God willing, we get that one. Brandon, how uh, – uh, Proud were you of the uh, the way you guys were able to maintain your focus and things when you, for those long stretches where the defense was on the field and you were waiting to get back and knowing that you weren't going to get a lot of chances to uh, put points on the board. Yeah, no, that was that was a huge thing for us to take advantage of every opportunity, every possession that we had, and uh, we didn't do that. But you know, with the ones the ones that we had, and defense came up with a turnover. Um, you know. In the short field, we were able to, I think, put up put up some points. But um, like you said, it was, it was important for us to take advantage of of, of the possessions. And um, the guys did stay locked in when we were on the sideline. Tried our best to stay warm as much as we could. Brandon, mm -hmm. I know Minka Fitzpatrick was one of your high school teammates. I think you guys are friends. Uh, I'm curious if you guys are still in touch, and and if so, what you guys talk about. Yeah, we're we're still in touch. Uh, we talk probably two or three times a week. We're really tight, and um, obviously, Alabama is uh, a really good program, and they're doing really well. And we were up there in the playoff rankings, and obviously, we talked about number two and three for a little bit. And um, but we're just wishing each other luck, and um, yeah, going from there. Do you ever talk X's and O's with a guy that maybe the best DB in the country? I mean, of course, and he's played every position in the secondary, and so he has that experience, and he helps me out understand and to understand what the DBs are looking for in the quarterback, and whether you know it's a it's a robber safety, what he's looking at in my eyes, and you know we get into a little bit of specifics, but nothing too nothing too crazy. And uh, I think when he was at St. Peter's, his family went through kind of a tough time. Do you kind of recall how? Were you a part of maybe helping him through that tough time? Um, yeah, it was Hurricane Sandy, and uh, Minka stayed with me for a couple of nights, and uh, just to you know, he has a pretty big family, so just to get his family kind of um, some rest. I guess his parents who were going through it, you know, as obviously as the leaders of the household, but uh, they're a really tough family, and God's on their side, so they were they they were able to make it through. And then the last one from me, you know, there was so much focus on Brian Kelly and his job status over the off season and into the early part of this year. I, I'm curious as a player, do you get a sense of how difficult his job is and, and in what ways? Uh, I couldn't, I couldn't imagine how difficult his job is, uh, especially at this school. Um, I feel like your responsibilities are elevated just that much being at the University of Notre Dame, whether it be the alumni, um, whether it be other meetings that you have to attend, you know, just the publicity of the school. So I can only imagine, and he's done a great job, and uh, the guys love him. Uh, Brandon, up here. If, if EQ can't go this weekend, how does that sort of change things for you guys as an offense? 
Um, it definitely changes something. You know, you lose a, a dynamic factor to your offense, but I think we have the guys and the depth. Um, you know, you see Miles Boy can step in and, and make a couple of huge plays for us. So um, we would love to have EQ out there, obviously. And as a quarterback, I would love to have him and I take blame. Um, but like I said, we have guys um, that are pretty deep and uh, that can go make plays. When you look at the tape of last week in the second half, what what was on point? What was really clicking for you that maybe wasn't in the first? Um, I just maybe a little bit of of just going out there and playing a little bit more and just having the confidence in myself to make some of those throws. And, um, you know, the, the weather really wasn't a factor as much in the, in the second half as it was in the first half. Thanks. Uh, Brandon, obviously against Miami, that was not the way – uh, you guys wanted to go out offensively. Now you have another uh, road matchup with a tough team in Stanford. Is there anything from that Miami game um, preparation-wise that you can take going into this game against Stanford? Uh, yeah, I guess just preparing um, how you want to play uh, going up to the week. I, I didn't prepare um, to the best of my ability Miami week, and I th obviously it showed. So. Uh, being militant in the way that we go about this week and, and everything that we do. So having attention um, to the way we practice, to the way we watch film, to the way I eat, just things of that sort, and it'll all go into the game. Brandon, up here. Well, why do you feel you didn't prepare the way you you are capable of or should have uh, leading into the Miami game? Um, I, I don't know. I think I was I, – I, Took it for granted uh, another week and another opportunity that we had to to go play a, a great team and um, it's late into you know you can say it was, it was mid season late into the season and I don't know there's there's no excuse for that but you know it, it happens. Does that put a chip on your shoulder? I guess this week, kind of just to to prove what you're all about in in, in a in a setting like this on the road against a top twenty team. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's on national television and. Uh, this team has another opportunity to go prove itself, and as we've done all season, so uh, we're looking forward to it, and um, we'll take advantage of this opportunity here. What uh, What are you thankful for this Thanksgiving? You guys. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>